Welcome to this tutorial on how to install a ComCare application on Java phones. Through the course of this video, we will cover how to download ComCare installation files from ComCare HQ, how to configure required settings to run ComCare on the phone, and lastly how to verify or troubleshoot settings in ComCare. To access the application deploy page on ComCare HQ, navigate to the application tab and click on deploy. In this example, you can see many versions of the application made and comments against each. Each version of the application is denoted by a version number. Click on the deploy button for the version number you wish to install. You will see a list of options. Click on download to Java phone, then click on download comcare.jar and download comcare.jad to download the files to your computer. A jar and jad file together make up a Java application. Hence, you need to download both these files. On your computer, navigate to where the jar and jad files have been downloaded. In case your application has multimedia, copy the multimedia folder and the jar and jad file to the phone's memory card. If you access the memory card on the phone, you will see the jar and JAD file as a single Java application along with the multimedia folder. This completes the download and transfer process. We will now see the different settings that need to be configured to run the application. The first step is to move the ComCare application from the memory card to the phone's internal memory. Click on Options and choose Move. Then choose from the list of folders to move it to. In this case, I have a folder created with the project name. It is important to remember that you must only move the ComCare application to the phone's memory. The multimedia folder must remain in the memory card. The next step is to switch off and switch on the phone. This is a very important step in the installation process. If you skip this step, then ComCare will not function smoothly as each time you run the application, the phone will keep asking you to reconfigure settings. The next step is to configure the permission settings of the application. To do this, navigate to where ComCare application was moved and click on Options and then click on Application Access. Click on Communication and click on Network Access and click on Always Allowed. There will be a message that pops up, just click Yes. Click on Application Access, click on Communication and now click on connectivity and click always allowed click application access now click on data access click on read user data and click on always allowed if a message pops up, just click on Accept. Click Application Access. Click on Data Access. And click on Add and Edit Data. And click on Always Allowed. Each time you install a new version of the application, these four settings need to be marked as always allowed. Now all settings required to run ComCare are complete. You can open the application. 
The first time you open ComCare, the application will take a few seconds to load all resources and present a screen where you can log in as an administrator or restore a username from the server ComCare HQ. Click on Restore from Server. Restoring a username will save the name of the mobile user for this device and all the data for the user will be attached to this username. For this example, I've created a username test. Type the username and password and click on Fetch Data. The phone will connect to the server via GPRS and restore the username. Once the restoration process is complete, the phone will ask you to press any key to continue. You will then see the login screen for ComCare. As you can see, the username test has been restored. For a ComCare application to run smoothly, the GPRS and application permission settings need to be configured correctly. You can verify if the settings are configured correctly by running a simple test. On the login screen of ComCare, click Options and then click Tools. On the Tools menu, press the number key 2 and click Select to run the GPRS test. If the GPRS connection has been configured correctly, the phone will display a success message. For the permissions test, press the number key 3 and click select. The phone will check if the settings are configured correctly and will show a pass or fail message. Here you can see the pass message indicating the settings have been configured correctly. If you see a fail message, exit the application and ensure that the application access settings are configured correctly and run the test again. If the network test fails, you can configure the settings manually. Click on Menu, Settings and Configuration. Here you can see the default configuration settings for Airtel. In most cases, the default settings of the service provider are configured automatically and the network test will pass. But when it doesn't, you can configure them manually. Start by clicking Personal Configuration Settings you will see an empty screen. Click on Add and choose Access Point. Then choose Access Point Settings, choose Bearer Settings, then choose Packet Data Access Point. Internet is the default APN or Access Point name given. Each service provider has a unique APN. For Airtel, it's airtelgprs.com. Based on the service provider you are using, type the respective APN. And click OK. Now come back to the personal account screen. And click Options. Add new account and choose web. And then come back to the personal accounts screen. Now that we have added access point and web settings, for both click on options and choose activate. Go back to the configuration settings screen and choose preferred access point. You may see a list of options. From the options choose my access point. Then click on default configuration setting and from the list of options choose personal configuration. And finally, click on Activate Default in All Apps. This completes the manual configuration settings for GPRS. You can open ComCare and run the network test to verify them. A couple of things to remember. 
If you remove the SIM card, the GPRS settings have to be reconfigured. Otherwise, it's a one-time process. There could be other reasons why network tests fail. Ensure there is sufficient credit and you are in a good network coverage area. Thank you. For more details, visit confluence.dimagi.com and search for Setup Feature Phones.